How's it going guys? Josh Brown with Colin Kenny Archery. Just wanted to uh, play around a little bit today and we decided to get the bows out and play with some, uh, some of the dampening systems. You know, some bows come with their own brand of dampening systems. Some come with uh, bow jacks, limb saver, whatnot. And um, uh, my, my degree is actually in computer science and engineering, but uh, I happen to own a bow shop. So anyway, we just wanted to play around a little bit and then doing some testing. Um, we decided to mount an iPhone on the bow. Uh, iPhone 5 actually has an accelerometer and a gyroscope built in. Using some third party software, we were able to determine frequencies at which the bow was responding, uh, the amount of vibration that's left after the, uh, you know, after the shot and whatnot. This in part reflects the build of the bow that we'll be using, but it also uh, gives us a direct comparison for the type of dampening we're using. So today what we're going to be doing is using an Expedition. This is the Explorer model, which is their uh, 30 inch axle to axle, 7 inch brace height uh, bow. Um, awesome, awesome shooting bow. It's uh, made by Expedition. And um, we're going to start out with the limb saver on here. We, we've mounted a whisker biscuit on here just to eliminate any vibration from a uh, dropway rest smacking down. And uh, we're, we're actually shooting a uh, arrow that weighs in right under 400 grains, 350 spine by um, uh, Blood Sports or H HT2 Blood Sport um, uh, arrow in a 350 spine. And uh, we're going to pop a couple arrows to this thing and just uh, take some calculations and then we'll take the limb savers off and uh, try it with some bow jacks and just see what the results are. So we're going to turn the phone on here, show you a little bit how the program works and uh, get started. These are some samples we took earlier. And basically it shows your um, the time, the amount of time, which we're taking a 10 second segment and uh, then it shows us how much vibration on each um, linear line and then it can also tell us what frequencies are being dampened or even amplified um, it's cool a cool, cool little program hopefully get a get a couple samples for you guys to look at here so click sample Arrow one. As you can see here, it shows the oscillation of the um, arrow one down. Save that. Save that sample. Same arrow, same bow, same setup. And basically the same vibra vibration sequence that was me moving there a little bit at the end as you can see but a um, little bit more lead off on that one mainly because I was I moved before the uh, sample segment was done so now we're gonna set this thing up with the Bojax Bojax equipment and to take a look at what the screenshots tell us. Hey guys, we're back. Same bow, same setup, same arrow. One thing we've done is we've switched out our dampening system. Everything that was limb saver on here, we've changed out to Bojax. These are actually the Bojax Revelation and um, are in the uh, smoke swirl or green swirl or something like that color. They come in green, purple. Um, I forget what all colors. Pretty cool, pretty cool little thing they got going on. We're going to take some samples and uh, compare it to data. We gotta stop moving after the shot. This is our the next one. I'll be sure not to move after the shot. Um, that's our vibration dampening after the shot was taken. 
Save that one. And sample, here we go again. I don't know if you can see that. That is a stupendous amount of difference. Those bow jacks are shutting down the vibrations so fast on that bow, it, it's just crazy. We're gonna do one more sample, but longer. I'm gonna change, go to settings, and you can see data sources, internal gyroscope. Um, I'm gonna go to um, data acquisition and change it to a 20 second sample, so that way you guys can just take a quick peek um, at a long, you know, you can see me getting the bow ready, the shot, and then after the shot, I'll try and hold it as steady as possible. Let's do that again. So I'll actually hold on to the string on my release. Try not to move the bow just so you can see a flat line. I go ahead and walk over here now. This is the shot, and that's me moving afterwards. The vibration is killed so quickly after the shot with these bojacks it is absolutely insane and just for uh, just for the fun of it we're going to switch it back over to the limb saver and I'm going to do a 20, se 20 second segment on there just so you can see um, that one as well we're back again uh, switched everything back from bojacks to limb saver which is what comes on this bow from the factory um, Maybe they'll change that scene. But um, just wanted to go back through everything, make sure you, make sure you guys can see the, uh, the, see the difference. Um, my beautiful bride. Uh, there's our last sample data. You can see um, settings, data source, stole the internal gyroscope. So that way you even get side to side movement. And we're gonna take another, uh, another 20 second sample. Uh, just show you guys the difference here. I can actually still feel the bow ring a little bit. It's called resonance, but I think it's interesting. The bow continues to resonate for so long. There you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review and uh, take some time to get out and shoot this week. Have a blessed one.